believe that the forest cares for nothing but itself. That's not true. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Chris is Too Real. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video of this content. This look is inspired by a short film I seen over the internet, The Birch. The Birch is a tree. The Birch helps those who are filled with love. This is about a guy that's always being picked on at school by a bully and he prays to this tree. So without further ado, let's just dive right into the look, guys. To start off, we're gonna make this headpiece. I decided to go to my backyard and took these vines. The first thing you're gonna do is take it in the middle and you're gonna hollow it out a little. Make it open. That's where your head's gonna rest. And then you're gonna take masking tape and you're gonna make where your head's gonna sit. You're gonna be taking the masking tape and going from one side to the other side like displayed. So we continue going from the top to the bottom. And then we're gonna tuck it in as you would tuck in a child in bed. After we do that, we're gonna secure some of the branches because it might fall. We're gonna take zip ties and we're gonna take some of the edges and combine them like so. And we're gonna secure them with the zip ties. Don't forget to cut them after you tighten them. We're gonna continue doing that to certain spots that do not seem secure. I decided I would like bigger chunk pieces on my head. I decided to take hollowed out wood like show because this is going to rest on your head. Put them on top of the headpiece and you're going to secure them with zip tie. After you do that, you're going to flip it over. You're going to take a elastic like string. I got that from a goggle. We're going to cut two holes so it can be placed there. Once you cut the two holes, you're going to put one side in and then you're going to put the other one in. We're going to tie that and we're going to secure it with zip ties. Once you get that out of the way, we're gonna move on to the look. Once you find a wig cap, just put it on. And it's very easy to put on. Just stretch it out a little and put it over your head. I have my clothes on, so I decided to do a little magic trick and snap my fingers and tuck them off. We're gonna start with the eyebrows. We're gonna comb the eyebrows one direction, and then we're going to be going the opposite direction with the glue stick. Take a spoolie, and we're gonna comb our hair through, and then we're gonna let it dry a little. After you let your hair dry a little, we're gonna apply another thin layer of glue and then we're gonna smooth that out with water and let that dry of course we're gonna take a tongue depressor you know the best tool very versatile and we're gonna take scoops of glue and smear that all over the eyebrows that can block the eyebrows completely and we're gonna smooth that out with a little water after we do that take your favorite translucent powder set your eyebrows after you set your eyebrows, we're going to take a little bit of liquid latex and we're going to pour that in a disposable container. After we get the latex, we're going to take cotton balls. We're going to take the tongue depressor and we're going to take liquid latex and we're going to map out where we want it to. We're going to make cheekbones. Once you put liquid latex on your cheekbones, we're going to put cotton. We're going to build upon that layer. Once you get the cotton ball there, we're going to put another layer of liquid latex. We're building layers, remember guys. So it's like a lasagna. Once you get about three layers there with latex, 
cotton, latex, then cotton. We're gonna position it. We're going to make the cheekbones more sharp, like how you would naturally contour. We're gonna put more liquid latex and cotton on the top of it so the cheekbones can be more raised out. And don't forget to blend everything in with the tongue depressor. And once you blend that in, we're gonna work on the other side. Once you finish with both, we're going to work on the eyebrow. So we're gonna go where your eyebrows are naturally are, a little bit more ahead. We're gonna make a crescent-like shape with the latex and the cotton, and we're gonna put a layer of latex first, and then cotton. And then we're gonna smooth that out with more latex. Once you get that all smoothed out, we're gonna take the other side of the tongue depressor, and we're going to raise that up, like so. It's gonna be more three-dimensional. We're gonna work on the mouthpiece. We're gonna work on the upper lip first by applying some liquid latex, and then we're gonna put some cotton and we're gonna apply liquid latex positioning it with your finger if needed the nose piece once you do you're gonna outline the natural skull nose so we're gonna put liquid latex around the nose and the little line once we put liquid latex down we're gonna work on the bottom lip we're gonna do the same techniques as we did to the top lip and we're gonna smooth out on the sides of the cheeks this character had holes there so we're gonna draw two lines applying some liquid latex and then we're gonna put some cotton and once you do one side do to the other side be very careful with this part we're gonna do some eye bat we're gonna take the liquid latex and draw a crescent shape we're gonna put cotton down we're gonna take our time when we're doing this We're gonna do about two layers. We're gonna smooth it all out. Do the other side as well and raise the part where it's closest to the eye. I felt like the chin needed a little extra, so I took more cotton and latex and did a little chin piece. I took the whole thing and put it all around there all at once and I put a lot of latex to smooth it out. And once I got the desired look, I took my finger and smoothed it out and I made a little butt chin with the tongue depressor. And once you did that, we're gonna apply two thin layers of liquid latex on the whole entire face. and take a blow dryer so it can dry faster and dry your whole entire face. Take your favorite translucent powder and powder your entire face. Make sure to get everywhere in the cracks and crevices of the face. And once you do your face, you move on to your chest. This is very important. We have to clean our whole entire chest with alcohol. We're gonna take silicone. So we're gonna take a two-part silicone. So we're gonna use two different applicators. We're gonna use one applicator for A and we're gonna use a different applicator for B. We're gonna take a scoop of A and we're gonna put it on a palette like so. And we're gonna take a scoop of B and we're gonna put it on the palette. You see? A and B. And once you start mixing you have to work fast because it does dry we have to mix it very well and we're gonna apply a thick layer of it on your chest and once you apply it there we're gonna smooth the edges Once you do that, we're gonna just carve out lines like so by taking the tongue depressor and scraping it and we're gonna smooth out any edges if needed. We're trying to get that effect, so it's gonna be like a scratch, like skin deep scratch. Really like the birch tree, the birch tree looks like this and I wanted to achieve this there. We're gonna work on the whole entire chest by taking a glob of it, putting it down to a specific spot, smoothing out all the edges very carefully and we're gonna continue with the lines. Very easy, guys, and scraping it is the easiest part. We're gonna continue that for the whole entire chest piece. Place it down, smooth it out, scrape it. I switched to a very sharp tool, and we're gonna do some scratches, like the bark of a tree. Lots of scratches and texture. 
I took the tongue depressor again and I started raising it up like that so it can be more textured. Once you achieve the desired look powder, your entire chest. I took my darkest concealer and darkest foundation and I mixed that with the NYX Natural palette and I took that darkest shade in the palette. Once you finish mixing, we're gonna take a beauty sponge and we're gonna apply it onto the whole face and chest piece. Once working, you're gonna be doing dabbing motions like you see and we're gonna do very hard dabbing motions to get in the cracks and crevices. The chest piece is much easier because it's not as textured as the face. We're gonna apply it everywhere. I also took green and red cream body paint and I applied it all over the chest. We're gonna start off by taking brown and black water activated face paint and we're gonna apply it to all the spots that need shading. All the prosthetics that we did that is raised up require shading. It does not look as three-dimensional. If you do not, it's just gonna look flat. Keep in mind, we are starting off with brown face paint and we're gonna deepen that up. So we're gonna get the furrow brow and we're gonna get the nose. And we're gonna do a little shading of the forehead. We're gonna take the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in the shade Taupe and we're going to deepen up those eye sockets. And I am going to be applying some green eyeshadow to the lids. I did not apply a lot right now, but I do go in again later on with the same green eyeshadow and applying it on the lid. You're gonna take black eyeshadow on the outer third of your eye and we're gonna blend that. We're gonna take black eyeshadow and we're going to be applying it in the inner corner and we're gonna take black eyeshadow and we're gonna be deepening up all the spots that we took the brown. We're gonna take the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger and we're gonna take that and we're gonna be intensifying all the dark spots like you see and we're gonna blend that out with a dense blending brush and we're gonna be blending, blending, blending. We're gonna take that and we're gonna be putting that where all the holes are in the face like you see there, the two holes in the cheek and we're gonna be darkening up the cheekbone piece like you see there and we're gonna be blending. We're gonna be applying that to the nose. We're gonna be applying that there and we're gonna take black eyeshadow and we're gonna set that. I'm taking black eyeshadow and brown eyeshadow for my hairline piece because I don't want this piece to show when I'm wearing the headpiece. We're gonna take the same gel liner and we're gonna be applying it to the mouth like you see. We're gonna take a light concealer and we're gonna be applying highlights to all the high points of the face. Like you see, the forehead, all the raised up face, so where all the prosthetics are. The bridge of your nose, the under eyes, the cupid's bow, or the cupid's bow that would be there, the cheekbone piece, and we're gonna be blending out that with your finger. As you see, it went in with more green eyeshadow and black eyeshadow. I took that cake powder. We're gonna take that creamy eyeliner and we're gonna line your waterline and the top of your eye like you see, like you would do in a normal beauty look, because I did wanna do a little beauty into this like forest creature. I applied some yellow and gold eyeshadow to the inner corner. We're gonna take textured sponge. I got this from a hardware store. I'm using a cube of it with fake blood, which is an easy recipe of food coloring and corn syrup. And we're gonna apply that all over the face. When doing the teeth, I wanted it to be very not so perfect. And I wanted to do these chunky teeth, very crooked, very spaced out, very childlike. I took white face paint and I did the teeth like shape. I outlined all of that with the gel liner. I took black eyeshadow and I gave it a little shading on the bottom, the top of the teeth. And I applied some yellow cream base paint on each tooth to make it dirty. After we do the face, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna take that fake blood and we're gonna apply it all over the chest, very textured like. So we're gonna take black face paint on a detailed brush, place that on the spots that we created, all the scraping where we scratched out that emptiness, we're gonna be applying that there. I wanted to make it look very deep like so it can be like holes, like this picture. 
We're gonna be doing that for all the spots that I created. So once you get all the spots with black, we're gonna take white water activated face paint and we're gonna be applying some highlight to certain spots. I took the textured sponge to blend all of that out. And I applied some more fake blood to the face. And there you go, that's the final look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this look. I love you guys all so much.